Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of my iPhone 16 Apple Intelligence series. Today, I'll be showing an example of the image cleaning feature, which promises to make removing undesired objects from an image with ease. Here is an image of one of my investment properties. We'll select the bottom right icon to open up the image edit options. Then on the far right, I'll select the cleanup option. According to this, I can remove objects in one of three ways. I can click on objects that are pulsating, like the gnome on the right, or I can brush the object away. Or third, I can draw a circle around the object. In this video, we're gonna try all three of them to see which one works best. Let's start with the tapping to remove option. Dang, that actually worked very well, right? All right, cool, cool. Let's try the brush option next on this other object. That one didn't do anything. Well, let's start drawing a circle around it instead. All right, now we're talking. That also looks pretty darn good. Let's try some other objects like this plant over here. I'll try to brush more aggressive around this object this time around. And that seemed to have helped. Now the plant's gone. Okay, next let's do this one. Erase, 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 and nothing. Like last time, let's try drawing a circle this time. Sweet. That looks like that worked also. So what I'm noticing is that drawing a circle around the object is working much better than brushing it away. Now, what you're noticing here is that for some reason, sometimes the pinch to zoom in or out doesn't seem to be working well for me. Not sure why, but if you see random brushing, it's because of that. Okay, next up, this pumpkin. Brush, 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 brush. Okay, I'm okay with that. That's another pinch to zoom fail. Got to figure out why that's happening. Okay, let's do a larger object this time. Let's get rid of this frame above the chimney mantle using the circle, or in this case, the rectangle method. And dang, that looks great. I'm actually really impressed it did this good of a job. Sure, it's not perfect, but much better than what I expected. Well, that's it for this quick Apple intelligence feature, folks. If you found this content useful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more similar content. And if you're interested in other topics, such as do-it-yourself projects and repairs, real estate, or finance, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.